Thank you. It just blows my mind that you're 18 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, tell about uh, tomorrow you're opening for, tell us. Uh, yeah, we're opening up for Aerosmith tomorrow night at the Hollywood Bowl. So uh, that'll be a good time. Uh, what's it like to open for Aerosmith, the Rolling Stones, and, I mean, people like that when you're 18 years old? It's humbling, you know. It's good for me because, uh, you know, get, getting to see them on and off the stage as well, you know, they're, they didn't make it where they are by being, you know, rock stars. You know, everybody thinks they'd, they'd be really standoffish, but they're the most of, of the people I met are just, the, you know, the sweetest guys and just, you know, nice people all, to be around. They're, pretty, they're very, all very impressed and, and confounded by your amazing talent for such a young guy. That, does that, like... How do you feel about that? I, it's flattering, <laughs> you know. What it's about flattering. when BB King says that you're like a phenomenon? <laughs> what does that do to that, you? That that one I don't know. I still have to hear for myself. <laughs> He's kind of my biggest influence, you know. I was almost fainted. <laughs> How influenced are you by Buddy Guy? Greatly. I mean, he's another one of those people who, you know. On my growing up and listening to music and stuff, he was one of my bigger influences. And, and then getting to meet him and, you know, befriending him and, and uh, just seeing that he's a really nice guy, you know, just makes it all the better, you know. Do you so. know how lucky you are, like, to be as young as you are and as talented and gifted as you are, but then to have, like, people that the rest of us just totally idolize to adopt you and bring you in and, like, raise you up? Do you know how <laughs> lucky you are? I know. I, I, I feel uh, fortunate for that part of it, yeah. Now, I'm amazed at being, like, that successful and 18 and having your head on straight and being still humble and all the other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, playing with these guys makes me humble, you know? I don't really have uh, the right to be cocky, you know? Where are you a lucky guy and very touched, too. Very <laughs> sweet, very blessed. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> three of the all-time great blues musicians, Mr. Buddy Guy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Along with Chris Layton and Tommy Shannon from Double Trouble. <laughs> Buddy, you've been playing for about 42 years? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. what do you think of Johnny Lang being 18 years old? I've been trying to figure that out ever since I met him. You know, actually, the first time I heard Johnny, the first thing I said, man, you got to be 40 years old to play like that at this age, you know. And, and we laughed about it, and I found out that he was off the farm just like I am. So I said, well, you know, maybe that's why I get mine from out of the cotton fields and things like that. But he's amazing to be such a young man. And I've been knowing you, him. You were a little bit younger than him when you first picked one up, right? Uh, no, I, I didn't even have electrolytes until I got about 16. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so uh, uh, my first one was about 17 years old, first guitar, which was an acoustic guitar at the time. Wow. And we didn't have a radio or anything like that. But actually, I was trying to make a guitar out of rubber bands and things like that. And, oh, my God. Uh -huh. And now yeah. here you are with your own polka dot guitar, which I've never <laughs> seen that. It's so cool. You're going to you. be performing at the Playboy Jazz Festival on June 12th. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm, that's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like Double Trouble, too. You guys lost Stevie Ray Vaughan. Right. It was a great, great sound, great band. Yeah, he was a wonderful person, best friend I ever had. Wow. We miss him. So do we. Yeah. A great, great artist. And your record company has just released a set of CDs of all the songs. I got right. it yesterday. Yeah, they've all been uh, remastered. Cool. It sounds much better, and there's a lot of bonus tracks on each record. I'll be listening in my car. Right. Here to sing Pride and Joy, Johnny Lang, Buddy Guy, and Double Trouble. Yeah.